Okay, so group number one, you chose the um, brown desert rose, the larger one. Okay, from this crystal alone, I'd already started channeling before, like I said. I kind of feel like this group is very earthy, um, very grounded, so you guys might look for jobs that have to do with out in the nature. I feel like this group likes to use their hands a lot, um and things of that nature. So your first card that I picked, these are life purpose decks. I'm actually using a Doreen Virtue life purpose deck here. So we did, we got Builder. And that's just why I had to like start recording right away because I'm like, oh, the magic is happening already. Okay, and I love it when that happens. But anyways, um, with this Builder card, it says your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. So um, I feel like these might be um I want to say you might be an Aries um you also might be like someone that like I said like works in like construction carpentry things of that nature um back here I don't know if you can really see this like small angel like in this child I feel like you also might be a person that might be like a lawyer or someone that fights for justice because um, when you think of a builder, I know I said nature and things like that, earthy, but um, those are the types of things that our our systems are built upon. We need those types of people, and I, I really feel like uh, you might work with small children also or have a dream to work with small children. I do feel, however, from this card that this group is very divinely guided. Like, I mean no matter what you go through, the angels are constantly fighting for you. Like, they're looking out for you, and they're waiting on you to accomplish whatever it is that you're waiting to accomplish and start building your dream. Um, like I said, we're going to use a few different oracle decks and stuff today. We're going to have a little fun with this reading. I want to get some obstructions. Um, we're going to use our Ganesha deck, and I want to ask Spirit to give us um, some of the obstacles that might have been in your way that have caused you some problems on your path. We're gonna see what obstacles have been causing you some problems on with uh, reaching your life purpose and your journey, group one. Okay, so group one, you don't like to listen. You don't like to listen, and then sometimes when you listen, it looks like you guys, oh, you guys have a lot of people in your ear. This group is very innocent. Once again, I'm getting that childlike. Um, this card is guidance. I'm getting that with this young Ganesha here. I'm getting that childlike influence. And I feel like it's been a lot of pressure on you maybe since childhood. I feel like with elders, uh, snakes, um, and then just not believing in yourself and trusting your own intuition. Uh, I feel like you've always looked to a lot for others, but the into the the tr the it's within you, and I feel like don't listen to so many other people. Kind of try to learn how to block people out. In my group, I've actually been doing a lot of talking this week about um, like grounding, shielding, grounding, centering, and shielding. Um, if you can kind of see this aura around this young Ganesha here. You might really need to group one. Oh, I didn't turn my light on. Ugh. Well, I'm not going to re-record all this, but I'm going to turn my light on right now, so bear with me. I was wondering why it was so freaking dark. <laughs> Anyways, you guys. I'm new to this. Let's see if we can make this a little bit more brighter. Oh, that's too bright, huh? I gotta get this shit together before I record, y'all. Okay, there we go. Now you can see. Yay. Okay. Anyway, so you guys can see this, like, little aura right here around this young Ganesha. I'm sensing that you guys need to, like, really um, ground yourself. <laughs> You really need to, like, dig deep, ground yourself before you deal with others. You also need to trust your own instinct, center yourself. Um, 
when you deal with so many people like on a day to day, sometimes you can take on their influences. This is one of the things we were just talking about my group. Um, you need to sometimes center yourself, just bring yourself back together, bring yourself back into the present. And from there, you also need to protect yourself group one because I'm feeling like you guys also with this purple up here I'm feeling like you guys are highly intuitive um, you guys are empaths you guys pick up on a lot of people other people's issues that don't even seem to be your own and that leads you astray so I feel like those might be some of the things that are kind of um, blocking you the other thing here it looks like you're going through a personal transformation and you're confused um, I literally feel with this card like you don't know which way is up and which way is down and I feel like you kind of have like so much knowledge that you kind of stop yourself but I feel like you need to start to learn group one to literally just to trust yourself trust your own intuition um, I do feel like with this transformation you've been going through a lot of shadow work a lot of dark periods um, while you're trying to build whatever it is that you're creating. Um, but I feel like you're learning that uh, you don't need to be ashamed of your dark side. It's one actually that you can illuminate and that you can learn and grow from. And that's really good. That's really good. So I see here like that you're also, like I said, going through this personal transformation. Now we're going to look for some cards. We're going to ask Spirit to give us some messages about um, what can help you along in your transformation spirit what can help group one along with their transformation we know what's blocking them what can help them along and grow in their transformation let's take that focus okay so with this card i'm seeing that you're going to need some meditation and like i said believing in yourself um grounding centering and shielding protecting yourself and also trusting your heart opening up your heart a little bit more you got a lot of passion a lot of fire it looks like you got a lot of sacral energy you're really like building something right now you you're like in the process of building and creating something right now Oh, and soul mating, yes. Because see, look at all these hearts. And see, the thing is, I don't know if you've been closed off a lot because of the stuff that you have heard or went through and you're just kind of like, uh. But if you pay attention here, like all these hearts, the thing is, nothing is going to flow in. No abundance, no money, no prosperity, no love. Nothing's going to flow in until you open up your heart. So when you're meditating, really start to focus on your heart chakra. I'm also feeling like you need to speak up some. That message just came through. Um, you need to speak up some. Use your voice. Okay. Let's see. All right. <laughs> Next, group one. I want to see what spirit animal, what spirit animal can you embody during this growth that you're having? What spirit animal should you embody? What characteristics of what animal should you take on? Camel. Okay, so um, I'm not going to use my book. I Like I said, I read mostly intuitively, so I'm not going to use my book on this. There are further definitions. But the way I take from this is... It's okay to get wet, meaning it's okay to cry, it's okay to share emotion, it's okay to be in that emotional side, but it's also sometimes you need to reserve, okay? Think of a camel, like sometimes they're kind of slow, chill. I think you should take that in and take the time not to move so fast and some kind, sometimes reserve. Don't put all your ideas out there, don't put all your thoughts and feelings out there because not everybody deserves them. Um, like I said, trust your intuition because this group one, you are highly intuitive also. So trust your intuition about a lot of things because a lot of things you, you already feel and you know, but with you listening to other people, you, like I said, you're confusing yourself. You're definitely confusing yourself. We're going to pick just a couple of more cards and we're going to get some information now on what 
energies you should use, what chakras, what energies within your own body are you going to be able to use, what you need to use to get through to uh, help you build, what's going to help you Okay. Let me see if I can scoot these up some here. Because you guys just had like a whole book fall out, but we're going to go ahead and keep them. I'm, I'm feeling it. We're going to keep them. So we got harmony. We got freedom. We got inner witness. We got inner truth. We got inner guidance, we got surrender, and we got your root chakra. Okay, so real quick, we're going to put this all together right here. Like I said, I see you have a lot of passion, group one. Um, so ground yourself. Like I said, with your root chakra, it's showing that you need, I don't know if you're unbalanced within your home situation, your finances. Don't focus so much on that. Don't be so tight. Use your inner guidance and open up your heart chakra because that's going to allow more money and more everything else to flow in. Everything is energy. So if you're tight with it, it's going to be tight with you. You feel me? You free flow with it. It's going to free flow with you. So with that said, um, you might want to do some work um, on balancing your root chakra and learning how just to surrender, learning how to... Um, to bow into the process and not fight so much against it. You don't have to be so rigid with everything. Like I said, I really feel like, I, and I'm not getting anything else. It might be um, a Scorpio, maybe, um, Capricorn or a Taurus. I'm feeling really, or Aries, like I said, I'm feeling really rough, rigid things. Um, with these two right here, this freedom and this inner truth, like I, I said before, you are going to need to start speaking out. Use your voice. Use your words more. Um... Use your platform more. Spread, once again, spread that love out more. And trust in yourself. Use your inner guidance. Keep building. Keep believing in yourself. Keep building up that sacred power. And um, everything is going to come all together. And like I said, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. You are your own inner witness. Everything is there already within you. And you have the knowledge mentally. Okay? That was a lot, but hey... When spirit has message, spirit has message. And we're going to pull one more card from, I like to use these two decks together. These are um, Mudra Earth Energy and also um, like, wait, let me see. It's uh, Five Elements and Awakening the Energy Body. And you can use them together. So now we're going to see what type of element that you should use. <laughs> there we go. So whatever you're building, you're going to have to trust some people, though. And maybe that's what it is. Also, you might be being a know-it-all. Um, you can't do that either. You can't block people out and be just a know-it-all, especially if they're, like, wise and trusted and they know what they're doing. You have to be able to be discerning between the type of people that you're taking guidance from. Not all guidance is bad. Not all of it's like a snake or people out to get you or steal your ideas. Some of it is trustworthy. So, um I'm getting that here with this uh, integration and this harmony. You might need to actually come together with some people for what you're trying to build. Uh, and I have to do that sometimes because sometimes when you want have this perfect vision of things, you want it just how you want it. But that's not always how it is, if that makes sense. Sometimes you need to be able to trust people and build upon and network with others. And that's how the dream gets done because we all are part of a collective conscience. So you don't know your plan might be meant to come together with this plan over here to make this grand plan. Okay. So don't block people out. And we got healing. And like I said, I got that here with this, these two hearts. Um, also with this inner guidance, I'm feeling like you really definitely need to trust yourself. Uh, go within. I'm feeling like you need some healing done within your heart chakra. And if I was you group one, I would focus on your uh, root chakra and your heart chakra and, and maybe also your third chakra. I don't feel like your throat chakra is blocked really. I feel like with you, I feel with your throat chakra, 
it's more so of believing in yourself and coming out and speaking your truths. So, and trusting yourself to speak those inner truths out publicly and in, in what you're trying to build. So, and convey your messages, right? So, just pray and ask for guidance on that. All right. So, that was my oracle reading today for group one. <laughs>